Hi everyone, welcome to today's lesson where we are going to look at five key vocabulary for TOEIC, five key words you need for TOEIC, plus we're going to look at five TOEIC questions and show you how to get the answer. So let's get started. Here is the first vocab. Compensation. What is compensation? Well, it can mean payment for one's work or services. So it is a salary, a wage, or a payment for one's work. Here's an example. Li Xianlong, the Prime Minister of Singapore, receives the highest annual compensation of all national leaders. His compensation is over $2 million a year. All right, so this is his pay, his salary. However, another way you can use compensation is payment to someone because they were injured or they suffered. Here's an example. The restaurant had to pay $10,000 in compensation to a customer. There was broken glass in the food and the customer cut her mouth badly. So the restaurant had to pay compensation. The customer received compensation for their injuries. Now the verb for compensation is compensate. So the restaurant had to compensate the customer. The customer had to be compensated. Now, if we look at the next word, it is liable. Liable means legally responsible. The form of liable is group is liable for bad thing or group or somebody has liability for bad thing. Here's an example. The judge decided that the corporation was liable for the chemical spill. She said that the corporation had to pay $5 million in compensation to local residents. So the judge found the corporation liable for the chemical spill. The corporation is legally responsible. Now a common question is, should parents be liable if their children commit a crime? Should parents be legally responsible? What do you think? All right, number three, the word clause. This is a part of a legal document, such as a co contract or maybe a law. For example, there is a clause in the contract that allows the company to raise prices if there is an oil shortage. So there is one part of the contract, there is a page, there is a rule that allows them to do this. This is a clause in the contract. Or the lawyer wanted to amend the clause in the contract that allowed the other party, so the other group, to cancel orders for no stated reason. So once again, there is a part of the contract. And to amend a contract, is to change the words in a legal document. So let's look at for the word amend. Once again, this is to change the words of a formal document, such as a law or a contract. An example, many people saw the law as unfair to women. As a result, the government amended the law to include all genders. So the government changed this part of the law. They made that change. They amended the law. You can amend a contract. You might amend a clause in the contract. Now the noun form for amend is amendment and the sentence would be the government made an amendment to the law or the government made amendments to the law. The last word, number five, is mislead. This is to give a person the wrong idea and make them believe something that is not true or try to make them believe. The form is mislead, but past, misled, and past participle, also misled. Here's an example. The travel agency misled customers when it said all meals were included in the tour. When the customers went on the tour, only dinner was included. So they misled customers. Or the politician misled citizens about his actions. He told them he had cooperated with the police when the evidence showed the opposite. So he lied to the public, he misled the public. 
Now, the adjective for misled is misleading. So you could say the politician gave a misleading answer to the police. All right, so let's get into the TOEIC questions. We're going to do five and show and find out how to get the answer. Here we go, 132. Well, for this, the best answer is C. In formal writing, often contracts, you will often hear the form, the decision or the clause, the contract, the agreement allows for person to verb. For example, the new law allows for police to enter someone's house without judge's approval. Now you could say the new law allows police to enter the house, but in formal documents, we will often hear the law, the contract, the clause allows for subject to verb. All right, 134. Okay, first let's eliminate D, concerned. This word often confuses people. As a verb, concern means worry, make someone uncomfortable. For example, global warming concerns many governments and many citizens. The player's negative attitude concern the coach. So you can see scary or bad thing concerns person or group. As an adjective, you can say a person is concerned. In this question, the judge concerned the CEO. That means the judge worried the CEO. The CEO was concerned by the judge. Okay, that's a little strange. And then we're saying the judge concerned the CEO liable. In this sentence, liable does not make sense here. You would need an adverb. For example, the judge worried the CEO deeply or greatly. So A, or sorry, so D is incorrect because of context and plus because of liable being an adjective. All right, so this comes down to collocations and grammar. First of all, you can see the court blank, the court blank, the CEO liable, not the court blank, the CEO was liable. Therefore, we can eliminate A. If we use the discovered to give an opinion, we will use discovered that subject verb. Now that is optional. For example, the police discovered the car crash was intentional. Not the police discovered the car crash intentional. We need subject verb. So let's take out A, discovered. However, when we use find or consider, we do not need subject plus verb plus adjective after an opinion. For example, if I said, I discovered the restaurant was great, that's correct. I think the restaurant was great, that's correct. But when you say found, you can say, I found the restaurant great. Notice, subject, finds, object, adjective. I found the restaurant great. Another example, I think he is my friend. Well, if I use consider, I don't need the was. I consider him my friend. So maybe you found this question difficult, but because we have the CEO liable and we have no was, we don't say the CEO was liable. The best answer here is found, C. Okay, let's go to the next question. Well, here, we have received fair, we need a noun. Well, what is the noun? D, compensation. So we're gonna pick D, that one is simple. And 125, the last one. Well, one important thing is to see he had been, so this is probably passive, by his distributor. Well, let's eliminate B right away because his distributor lied to him, he had been 
lied to. The two cannot disappear. You lie to someone. You don't lie someone. So we would need he had been lied to. We don't have a to, it's gone. Then we can eliminate C. This is not passive. We have he had been deceiving by? No, it would have to be he had been deceived by. So the distributor had deceived him. So passive voice, he had been deceived by his distributor. So C is incorrect. Then we look at D. D just doesn't make any sense because we amend a contract. We amend a law. We don't amend a person. So if I say he had been amended, this is very strange because a person is not amended. You cannot amend a person. So the answer here is A, misled. So the distributor had misled him. He had been misled, passive voice. All right, everyone, we looked at five new words, tried five questions. Hopefully you learned something. Please like, share, subscribe, hit that button. Have a great day.